Okay guys, so today we're going to be reviewing the Bang Toys X21. It's a GPS drone and it comes in two versions. Uh, this one is the double GPS version. There's a single GPS version that only has a GPS in the drone itself. The double GPS version, the one I've got here, has a GPS in the transmitter and one in the drone as well. And that allows uh, you to do the follow me functions and the circle mode. Um, I think that the single GPS version does not let you do that. I get the same camera down there, it's 1080p, 30 frames per second, and it sends the, the video, actually records here via SD, micro SD card locally, and also sends it back uh, via Wi-Fi signal, and I think there's some Wi-Fi antennas under the camera here somewhere. Okay, it's in the back here of the uh, camera. It sends it to your phone via 5.8 gigahertz, and then you can see the signal here. The range of the drone is advertised for 400 to 500 meters but i think that the wi-fi signal is probably gonna be something less probably like 200 meters i'm in a big open soccer field here and we got some weather potentially coming in here so probably need to do this review pretty quick but the winds are pretty calm right now so it's a good time to fly and there's no one around so the drone itself is kind of like a uh, phantom uh, you got some big i think these are like eight inch props maybe nine inch uh, pretty large brushless motors. I think these are like 2208 maybe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. There's no specs on them. You got a 3S battery here in the back. It's a 3S 2200 and uses these uh, banana plugs. Uh, but the charger that it comes with charges via the balance port. So pretty easy to charge. Takes a couple of hours. Um, the flight time is supposed to be 13 to 15 minutes. We'll see. So the way to get this set up here is... Um, just gotta turn it on. And then there's a uh, on off switch here on underneath. You gotta make sure that's on as well. If you if you plug it in without this on here, it just powers the camera only and then you can connect via Wi-Fi, but the drone itself is not actually on. So turn that on, plug in the battery. Close up this door. And we got some flashing green lights. We're going to turn on the transmitter now. And we want to, we got some slow flashing green lights. We want to do a compass calibration. You just do the transmitter. It's a uh, left stick down and to the left, right stick up and to the right. So that's the compass calibration. Then you got to rotate the drone three times. And then face it down. And then rotate it three times clockwise. And then you should wait until the green light turns solid. While we're waiting for that, we'll go ahead and we'll connect to the drone via Wi-Fi. And it should be something like uh, YD, 1080p, UFO, something like that. Go ahead and I'll connect here. And then we'll bring up the app again. It's called WD Pilot. There's a uh, QR code in the manual that you can... Uh, uh, so I'll go and find that in the Play Store and then we'll go ahead and we'll connect and now see we have a video on my phone and the lights have turned solid. There is a little bit of lag in the video and because of the, the way the camera is lens is off to the, to the left here, you're going to get more of the leg on the left side of the screen than on the right. Yeah, good look at the clouds there. It's going to rain here pretty soon I think. The last thing you want to do is do a gyro calibration. It's going to be right stick uh, down into the right, left stick up into the left. And then that should, the drone should be ready to launch. Go ahead and we'll, uh, so it takes a couple sample pictures here, see what the photo quality is like.
can see it's a typical CMOS camera. The light handling isn't so great. It's a pretty uh, low budget uh, CMOS camera here. Okay, so there's some indicators here on the transmitter. It shows your transmitter voltage, your uh, drone voltage. You got GPS satellites, they got 16 here. It shows your height and distance, compass. Looks like everything's good to go. Go ahead and take off. Take off by either down into the outside or down and inside to start the motors and then lift up to take off. Here's some of your buttons here, rates here, landing button here. These two don't do anything. This button here is for follow me mode, circle mode, take a picture, start a video, return to home, headless mode, and GPS. Okay, let's go and fly. Motors have started, let's go and take off. Looks pretty stable. In here. It definitely is not moving at all. We're getting a little bit of wind now. Got that weather coming in here. But hovering very nicely. I think this is some pretty typical noise for this Phantom style drone, pretty big props. But you can see here, very, very nice. And we got a uh, height of two meters right now. Let's go ahead and we'll uh, take it up higher. Go forward here. Just gonna do a little light cruising. The uh, there is a little bit of lag on the Wi-Fi video, but it's clear, no breakups, no, so far no um, dropouts, at least as far as I can tell. So I'm at a height of 16 meters and a distance of 20 meters. And it's hovering very nicely there. Let's go ahead and pan around Let's see how smooth or this video is, it looks pretty smooth. Definitely uh, non-windy conditions, even though it doesn't have a actual real gimbal down there. Um, video is not too bad, although there, I can tell there's a little bit of jello. Just because uh, there's, it's not a stabilizing gimbal, it's just basically a mount uh, with some vibration dampening. Okay, so Looks like that is working pretty good. Let's take it a little further away. And then we'll uh, test out the return to home. So uh, it does rock and back and forth pretty, uh, it jerks around quite a bit. The uh, flight is not that smooth. So I'm at a distance of 38 meters and a height of 20 meters and I'm going to go to the other corner over there and then we'll go ahead and we'll turn this way just going to cruise around a little bit here I think it can go pretty fast if you want it to you see there it's uh from a uh, line of sight here, it looks very smooth. And the video feed looks very smooth as well. Let's turn it this way. And I'm gonna test the return to home here. So far, no, no issues so far. Everything's working pretty well. Go ahead and I'll hit the return to home button. And see if it does anything. Uh, looks like it's still stationary. No indication that anything has changed. So or maybe I have to long press the button. Let's do that. Nothing still. Apparently the return to button home button doesn't seem to be working. 
at least on my controller. Still have full control. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's, uh, while we're at it, while we're here, let's try the uh, follow me mode to see how that works. And get over here in the middle of the field, and you can see me here in the video. I'm gonna press the follow me button. It's supposed to follow the transmitter around, so let's see if it does anything. Doesn't appear to be moving. It's just hovering there. Right, let's try that one more time. And I'm moving and it's not... Or is it following me? It does not appear to be following me. Okay, well... Let's move this a little bit away from the trees there. All right, let's try the uh, circle me. See if that does anything. And apparently that doesn't do anything either. That's, uh, well, that's kind of unfortunate. I'm not exactly sure what's up. Yeah, it definitely is not working. Try to follow me one more time. It doesn't move at all. It should move as I'm moving. So none of these functions seem to work. Return to home, following mode, and circle mode are not being are not being worked on the on, on the transmitter. Could be something wrong with my transmitter. I'm not sure. And we're still recording video. Yeah, I'm not 100 sure what's going on, but it seems to fly fine otherwise. So this is kind of odd. I'm not sure what would be wrong with it. It's possible that the drone is fine, but the transmitter is not working. All right, so let's just see how the landing goes here. I'm gonna try a manual landing. I mean, it's very easy to fly and it's very smooth. I'm gonna bring it here to the landing pad. You can see that weather is starting to come in. It's getting a little more windy. You can see it kind of does that bobbling a little bit. Let's see if I can land it right on the pad there. And then you just hold down the uh, throttle and the motors should stop. If you keep doing that the motors will eventually stop, or you can disarm. So I'm not really sure what's up. GPS is working on the transmitter and on the drone. I'm at 11.3 volts, so go ahead and I'll take it up again and uh, we'll get a little more aerial footage here. Go ahead and I'll stop this recording, make sure I got that, and then uh, start up a new one. And we'll go ahead and take off and do one more quick flight. Everything else seems to be working, but the transmitter functions do not seem to be doing anything. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead, I'll take it over to the other, to the middle part of the field here, then I'll take it up kind of high. So I'm about uh, 9 meters up and 23 meters away. Go ahead, I'll take it up. Going uh, almost full throttle up here. The, uh, I am now at a height of 41 meters. And now it looks like it's going to a possibly a return to home. Ah, I think it's because it's a low voltage return to home. I was at, I'm at uh, 11, 11 volts, so maybe that is triggering the return to home. I see the green lights flashing. 
but I seem to still have control of it. I'm, I'm yawing it around. It's possible that there, there might be a height restriction on here, but I do see that it, the green lights are flashing and maybe it is a uh, low voltage and it doesn't want me to go too far away so that it's coming back. I think that is one of the features. That's kind of nice. So it kind of prevents you from going too far away and then uh, not having enough battery to come back. So I think it brought me back to this point. Let me just see if it'll go up further. It won't go up any higher. It'll come down, but it will not let me go up any higher. So it, it, it's definitely, I think it is definitely a low voltage return to home function. And I'm at 10.9 volts. So it seems a little early for a return to home. I think I was only up previously for about 10 minutes. Yeah, the uh, window is picking up there. You can see the clouds coming in. Uh, feeling, feeling a little bit of rain here, so it's, this flight's going to end here any second anyway. But I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to I'm going to see what happens here. Um, let's see if it does a return to home uh, with the battery draining. So I am able to come down, but it doesn't seem like I'm able to go very far up. And that is it right there. 19 meters. Let me see if I can go further away. Nope, that is it. I got about nine meters and then it's, it, it wanted to come back. So I think it's definitely the low voltage return to home here. Get a little bit more video here. It's too bad that I can't go a little bit higher. Some interesting storm clouds coming in, but uh, even in this wind, it is picking up about five miles an hour now. It does seem to be pretty stable. The video is not as shaky as I expected it to be for these weather conditions. Yeah, it's unfortunate that these functions don't work. I don't know why. Uh, I'll maybe ha I might have a future video and uh, see if we I can determine what's going on here. I'm just going to let this keep running until the uh, battery runs out. I'm at 10.8 volts. So it's not actually doing a return to home yet. I'm going to bring it closer. I'm going to bring it lower as well. Alright. It's very responsive. And very, very, seems like it's very easy to fly here. I can I'll just do a little line of sight. Oh, it's, it's, I think it's landing. Or is it just because the altitude hold's not working that well? Let me just bring it up a little bit. As I, as I pitch forward, it does drop in altitude there. I was almost hitting the ground because I was a little bit low. So you guys should be uh, cautious of that. But I'm, I'm in low rates here, so it's not doing anything too crazy. I think, you know, if you're using this for video, you probably just want to keep it in low rates. Oh, it is in return to home again, I think. There it goes. It went up. I did not initiate that, and I think it is going to land now. Yep. Return to home works when the battery is about to die. You can see it's almost at, at the point where the uh, takeoff point was. I could adjust it a little bit there. Oh, and it tipped over. Actually, it tipped over because I was trying to move it closer to the landing pad, as you saw there at the last second, and it tipped over, but it, no damage, of course, it's just in the grass. And go ahead, we'll stop the recording here. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure what's up with the, the buttons and why they're not working. You, you know, typically on these controllers, you press the button, either short press, long press, and you hear a beep, and then it will do something. None of these buttons did anything. So I'm really at a loss as to what's going on. I'll try and investigate that and maybe come up with a future video explaining what's going on with this. Other than that, obviously low voltage return to home teams to work and return to home works as well. You saw that. I did not initiate that. It just did that on its own. So it's good to know that it'll come back if something should happen, if you lose signal or if it knows that you're too far away and uh, it needs a battery to come back, it will then shut down. Um, return to home and it'll give you enough battery so that you can come back home. And then of course, you know, at the very end there, the voltage was 
all the way down and decided, okay, it's time to land and went ahead and did so without any input from me. So at least those things are working. I don't know why the follow me in circle mode doesn't work. It should work on this model because this is the dual GPS model. Although it's possible I might have gotten the single GPS model. So <laughs> that's entirely possible. You never know. I'll have to look into this a little more. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope it was helpful for you guys. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.